Uh oh. Oh snap. Oh, they're both on. I'm doubled. Oh no. And they're both taking line. Guys, we've got two fish on and they're both monsters. I just want to see it at this point, guys. It's so big. If I could just get him up. Oh my gosh. Every time I reach, he dives. What's up, you guys? I'm super excited about today, guys. Today is the first attempt of the year at Rogersville. This is the earliest I've actually come in April, but I'm excited to find out what the fish are doing. So I've got a couple of challenges ahead of me. The big one is, let me show you real quick, the back of the boat where the transom is, I've been told, is rotting out and is kind of dangerous to use the main engine. So today, I'm gonna be using the troll motor exclusively to put less strain and stress on the back of the boat. Um, because the last thing I wanna do is sink my own boat. That would be bad. We're gonna see if we can find some shad and then guys, we're gonna drift some stuff down the river and see who wants to bite. A lot of things happening. I can't wait to get out there. Without further ado, wish me luck. Here we go. Well guys, luckily it's not a raging torrent today because I really do have to use just my troll motor to get up to the spill, which is roughly about a mile from here probably, give or take. Um, so. Um, I'm really, really thankful for the low flow right now and the fact that it's not too crazy. So let me go ahead and shove off and we're going to get to it, guys. Guys, the next phase of the adventure at Rogersville is to catch some natural bait. Um, and to do that, I'm going to need to get out on foot. We've got a lot of people up there that I don't want to go through. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to anchor up here on the bank. So guys, now we've got a secured anchor here on the bank. And what I'm gonna do is just come right back over here to the boat and I'm gonna grab my cast net and I grab my bucket. All right, you guys, well, if you know me, you know that I really value uh, natural bait, especially if I can catch it myself. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna hike up here to the falls or the spillway. Oh man, that guy caught a nice one over there. And what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna throw out our net. We're gonna see if we can get lucky here and catch some threadfin shad or some gizzard shad. So that's kind of the goal. I don't wanna spend more than about 20 minutes trying. So we'll just see what happens. All right, you guys, here's the zone. It's rocky as all get out, but this is where bait should be, right here. Let's just check this little pool over here. This is as low as I've ever seen it, guys. Usually this is a place where I'm throwing onto shad right here where I'm walking today. All right, you guys, well, right here next to the spill, we've got an interesting little spot that I'm gonna throw on first. That looks promising, we'll see. But look how it drops off right there, you guys. I bet you've got some shad up in there, if I had to guess. Oh yeah, yeah, we got him, we got him. We got him, guys. One throw is all it took. Oh, wow. Guys, I bet you I caught 100 threadfin. That was insane. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. Oh, let's go ahead and get him over the bucket. I mean, they're gonna go everywhere. As long as I get most of them in the bucket, I'm a happy guy. Woo! Look at that, you guys, pay dirt. Let's go. All right, let me get some more water. That's a lot of thread fin. Okay, and now we gotta walk it back. Let's get back on that boat and shove off because we've got fish to catch, guys. But when you catch bait fish, always leave them in the bucket for about two to three minutes. What they're doing right now is they're mostly peeing and pooping, okay? They're dropping a lot of scales, and what we don't want them to do is get it all up in my air filter, okay? So what you do is typically let them sit for a couple minutes, and then after they're done doing all that kind of stuff, that's when you drop them in the bait tank. And now I need to fill up the bait tank, fill this up, and uh, then, we'll get the, then we'll get the air filter pumping, guys because they need oxygen ASAP. With that many, with that many thread fin in the boat, we need oxygen really, really quick. That's so all I'm gonna do now is these are a charge, so I'm just gonna quickly plug these in. And now we've got our air filter pumping and it'll start making a, a circular flow, which they really like. Now we're ready to get out there, catch some fish. I'm anchored up pretty good there. All right, you guys, well, I caught my bait. Now it's time for the second phase, which is catching fish, my favorite part. So guys, let's go ahead and let's start drifting these live threadfin shads and see what bites. Hey, man, sorry, sorry. What's the yeah, it's, uh, I'm Michael Call. Um, last name's K-A-A-L. Michael Call? Yes, sir. I go, K? yes, sir. I go by the Tri Fisher, but if you look up YouTube, Michael Call. Yeah. All right, man, you too. There are definitely some fish around, that's for sure. Now we just gotta execute and get one of these guys. 
Oh yeah, yeah, there's a fish. You got one guys, way out there. Oh, holy smokes. Oh, it's a big fish. <laughs> guys, I hooked him way out there and he's got some weight to him. I know he's in a current, but he does have some weight and he's fighting like a catfish. I, I think we have a catfish on you guys. Oh yeah, something big. <sighs> Golly. Oh, he's head shaking like crazy. Oh, let's see what we got here, guys. Oh yeah, it's brown. Oh, oh man, it's a big smallmouth. No way. Oh man, like a big one though, guys. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> it's a huge smallmouth. Oh, no, 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 that's not a smallmouth. What is that? What is that? Oh, is that a freshwater drum? Whoa, it's a big old drum, you guys. Okay, that's my first one I've ever caught in Tennessee. That's cool. Heck yeah. Let me get down on one knee. Guys, look at this freshwater drum. How cool is that? <coughs> oh, I just ate a gnat. Oh. oh, I just swallowed it. That was rough. All right, there he goes, you guys. <coughs> oh. All right, you guys, so I just swallowed a bug while <laughs> we're trying to get a hero shot with my my fish and I just oh that was rough tell you what guys these aren't like your standard gnats these are huge gnats whatever I swallowed big okay that's a big big gnat I'm gonna run two lines here and we're just gonna throw him out so while I'm drifting the bobber we've got another bait in and if I see that rod take off we will definitely know about it and the GoPro should also catch it this rod holder in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a free line Guys, whenever I am using treble hooks, what I do is I take my treble and I'm going to run it through one nostril and out the other, just like that. So guys, let's go ahead and pitch this one out. It's our free line bait and we're just going to let him run. Let me check my drag. Yeah, it's good. And let's put him in this. Let's put him in this rod holder and see what happens. And while we're doing that, we'll get back to drifting on this side, you guys. Oh, fish on. That was crazy. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Did you guys see that? That was a bass. Okay, that's a monster bass. Oh my gosh. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's strong as heck. Oh my goodness. Stay on. Stay on, big guy. Oh, get out of that other line. Look at him go, guys. He's just running up river. I gotta stop him. Oh, oh my goodness, it is a giant smallmouth. Guys, this is no drum. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, he busted me off. Oh my gosh, I can still see my fishing line. Ugh. No. That hurts. That one hurt. Oh, guys, he busted the whole rig off. My heart is so sad right now. That would have been the biggest smallmouth of the year, and it doesn't even come close. Oh. Yes. Okay. Oh, no. Guys, I... No, he's... He's still on, he's still on, here we go. Fish on, guys. Uh oh, oh snap, oh, they're both on. I'm doubled. Oh no, and they're both taking line. What's happening? Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh no, what's happening? Tighten that one up. Guys, we've got two fish on and they're both monsters. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Oh, oh and they're so heavy. Okay, I'm gonna fight this one first. And we're gonna put this one in a rod holder. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just pray he stays on. Uh, stay on, stay on, stay pinned. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, what's happening right now? Oh man, guys, so he's still out there in the middle. I'm fighting one on the edge here. They both went at the same time. Oh, and this is a huge fish. I don't know what it is, guys. I've got braid on. This other line is still tight, so I believe he's now sitting in the current. Yeah, he's still there. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Oh, oh it's a huge fish, guys. Oh gosh, please stay on. Are you still there? I can't tell if the other fish is there. I think it's sitting in the current. Yeah, he's still there. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, stay on, stay on. Oh, this is insane, you guys. Rogersville at its finest. Day one at Rogersville, already crazy. Uh, and the way it's fighting, guys, it would not surprise me if we've got 
a big old hybrid on or maybe even a striper the way it's fighting guys oh my gosh i just cannot get him up oh okay i gotta figure out where my net is i gotta close things let's get organized real quick because i can see this being total chaos guys Ugh. oh my gosh i cannot get him in Guys, this is a monster. I don't know what it is, but it is huge. And there's another monster on this line. Oh my gosh, please be, stay on. What are you? Oh, I just want to see it at this point, guys. It's so big. I just want to see what it is. I've, I haven't had a fight like this all year. Uh, oh my gosh. Stay on, fish. Stay on. Oh, wow. What the heck is that thing? It's huge and brown looking, guys. It's a huge carp. No way. Okay. I mean, guys, every cast, it's a different species. And a carp just hit a threadfin shad, and it is monstrous. And then we've still got another one on here. No wonder I'm struggling to get him in. He's like a 20-pound carp. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's get him in, guys. Uh. I cannot believe it's a carp, you guys. Oh, man. <clears throat> Stay on, carp. Stay on, carp. Oh. oh, just gotta get him in, guys. Come on. Come on up. Yeah, yeah, he's a monster, guys. Monster carp. Oh, gosh, get out from under that boat. Get out from under there. This is the part that makes me scared, you guys, is losing it right here. I've already lost one today at the boat. Let's get this, let's get this fish in. Oh man, and the current's so strong. If I could just get him up. Oh my gosh, every time I reach, he dives. Ugh. Oh my gosh, stay on big guy. He's a monster. Oh shoot, missed him. Stay on, stay on. I don't even know if that one's still pinned, it is. Oh my gosh, stay on please. Gosh darn it. I am struggling to get this monster in. Oh, he's taking drag. Oh, shoot. Uh, come on, get on that net. Yes. Okay. Uh, golly, he's heavy. Look at this fish, you guys. Holy smokes. Okay, he's on the rubber bottom down there. I'm going to try to treat him as well as I can, guys, under the circumstances. I was not expecting this. Uh, oh, my gosh, he's huge. Guys. Look at the size of this fish. I'm a monster carp. Check that out, you guys. <laughs> wow, what a beauty. Let's get him back in the water. We gotta catch this other fish. Let me go ahead and just launch him. He's off. Whoa, and this fish is over here now. All right, so let's land this fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a battle. This one's probably tired. He's coming in. Oh, what is this one, guys? So far, we've got a carp, a drum, and then we lost a smallmouth. What do we have this time? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's either a white bass or a hybrid, you guys. No wonder there were those bursts that happened earlier. Yeah, we've got a little hybrid on you guys. Heck yeah. Maybe a little white bass. I can't quite tell yet. Yeah, it's a hybrid. Woo. You guys, I cannot believe we've caught so many species of fish today. This is insanity. Woo. <laughs> nice, beautiful hybrid, you guys. Love it. Hey, okay. let me pitch him back out. That'll get your heart rate up. Was that a fish? Yeah, that's a fish. Fish on. Got him, you guys. Oh, yeah. What do we have this time, you guys? I mean, who knows, you know? <laughs> the, the way this day's been going, it could be anything. I'm hoping for giant bluegill. <laughs> no, we're getting another channel cat, guys. We'll go ahead and net him. Hope he, hopefully he has not completely crushed our barb. Let's get him back in the boat. Man, I should have done the species challenge today. Of course, that's coming. All right, you guys, here's another channel cat. Let's go ahead and toss him in. And he's out of here. He wanted to go. And then if that doesn't work yet, whoa, look at that fish on. Oh goodness, look at that guys. 
So yeah, just as I thought, just off of this main current is a soft current right here. I've been seeing jumps over here and then suddenly, bam, something hit hard. He is currently running up river too. Oh my goodness, that was incredible. What do we have? Oh man, he's, he's really strong. Oh man, he is, he's not having it, you guys. It feels like a hybrid to me. Whatever he is, he is a strong fish. Oh gosh, look at him go to the back of the boat. Look at that. Oh, he's strong. What in the world are you? I mean, it could be anything, guys. I haven't seen it yet. The way it's fighting, it makes me want to believe it's a hybrid, but boy, what a fight these river fish have, guys. Oh, <clears throat> technically they're coming from a reservoir. Oh yeah, it's a hybrid. No wonder it's so strong. Hybrid bass, guys. Woo, and man, he is not ready. I've got 12 pound test on this particular line. So he should not break me off unless there's a weak point that I just don't know about. There we go. Got him. I got him, guys. Woo. My goodness. That was awesome. <laughs> Check out that hybrid. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. I love it. Let's go ahead and toss him back in. Let's get another one. I'm having a lot of fun out here. So guys, let's throw right back into the soft water over here. So it's kind of just really, really calm right here in this corner. And my, my thought is there's lots of fish that are potentially uh, hanging out right over here. There we go, fish on. Fish on just like that, you guys. Just shot under. That's the second fish right there. And guys, this one's brown. What is this? This is not a hybrid. At least I don't think it is. It looked brown to me. It's either, oh my goodness, it's, oh, it's strong. What is that? Oh, it's my, it's a small mouth and it's my redemption fish right here, guys. No, 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 it got me. It's another one of those drum. It's another drum, you guys, freshwater drum. Ugh, gotcha. All right, we got it, guys. For a second there, I thought I was gonna get a rematch with a small mouth, but I think he might remain undefeated tonight. We'll see. This will be my second freshwater drum of Tennessee, you guys. I've caught a few in Alabama. I have not caught any here yet, so this is exciting. Check it out, you guys. Beautiful freshwater drum. These guys, they put up a fight just like anything. It's fun to catch these. Let's go ahead and give them a nice little toss right here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me cast a little bit further out this time. And get ready, guys. Get Oh, there he goes. Fish on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. What a hit. Oh, and there's another bust, you guys. We got a little feeding frenzy going on. Now, I have no doubt that's a hybrid. I don't know if you guys saw that burst, but hybrid are typically the ones that will do a, a lightning burst like that. The carp was able to take out line two, but not like that. That initial burst from a hybrid is just about unmatched by any other fish you'll find in East Tennessee other than maybe a striper. Oh, golly, this one's strong though. This one is strong, strong, strong. Oh man, I'd love to land this one just to see it, you guys. Oh. And I'm landing them all on the custom Tennessee rod today, which I love, because when I ordered this custom rod, I was dreaming of this spot for it. I contacted Brummets and they make custom rods, you guys, and I was able to I was able to get this rod with this day in mind. So this is, it's all come to fruition, guys, which is really, really cool. Oh man, he's a nice fish. Yeah, he's a nice hybrid, you guys, and he is just full of energy. Goodness. And man, when they fight with the current and they start running like he's been running, it's intense. Oh, what was that? Let me see if I can get this guy in. Let's get him in, guys. Yes, got him. Another hybrid, you guys. Man, what a day we're starting to have. I'm gonna talk about a crazy fight right here. These hybrid, man, these are awesome. I love catching these fish, you guys. Let's go ahead and let this guy go in the current right here. There he goes, shot straight down. Guys, let's get it back out as quick as we can here. We've got some fish right up here next to the boat, jumping around, doing crazy things. So there's a bite and I have no doubt their food source are these thread fins. So we're gonna put it right in their face here. There he goes, fish on. Just like that, you guys. Oh, another stout fish. Oh, golly, man. Look at this. 
Can't do anything with it right now. Another hybrid. Jeez, man. I just can't believe their strength. It is incredible. They're all sitting over here. There's a whole pot of them. Every time I pitch, look at that, look at that. We just had a bust. Guys, it is on tonight. And I cannot slow this guy down at the moment. This is just so much fun. Guys, a lot of times what I'll do is lift, almost like ocean fishing. <laughs> kind of turn them a little bit, reel down, lift slowly, and then you just kind of repeat. This one's got a lot of power, so I'm gonna have to be patient with them. Because the last thing I wanna do is bust off, you know. Okay, he's coming in, he's coming in. He turned and made a mistake to, and he started swimming toward the boat. So now we'll get a good idea of how big he is. Oh my goodness. Come on up here, big guy. Yeah, okay. Okay. There he is. We're gonna try to just kinda surf him on up here into the net. Here we go. That's another nice hybrid, you guys. Man, I have found a nice little school of hybrid right here. All right, you guys, check it out. Another beauty. <laughs> I absolutely love these fish. These are just beauties. Give them a little kickoff. Whoa! <laughs> Let's catch another one as quick as we can. What a day we're having, you guys. What a day. So we've got a weightless. I don't have any more split shot in the boat. I think I left them in the car. So we've got a weightless approach. And honestly, that might be good because I've gotten stuck. Oh, gosh. Fish on. I was just saying how I've been getting stuck. <clears throat> oh, wow. What is that? That that fish is fouled, you guys. I think that's a big catfish. Oh, my goodness. Let's get him in. The struggle's real. I, I think it's... I, it might be in his mouth. I can't tell. All right, you guys. Here we go. No, it's in his mouth. He got it. So, guys, here's another catfish. Check it out, you guys. Another catfish. All right. Oh, that's a nicer cat. Grab my net. Man, I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up. We got a full moon, guys. No wonder. Pre-storm full moon night. Here we go, guys. Check that beauty out. Let's go ahead and give him a toss. Let's keep it going, guys. Oh goodness. We've got, I mean, guys, we have got fish up in this little area. It's getting so dark. I bet you can hardly see right now, but I mean, I'm throwing over here and there are still fish smacking them. And typically it's a catfish bite at this point, you guys, but yep, yeah, there, fish on. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, that feels good. Wow, okay. Oh, it feels like a catfish the way it's bouncing. Whoa, what was that? I don't know, guys. I don't know what that is. It's cool, it's acting like a bass. Oh, it is, it's a big bass. Oh my gosh, come on, you can do it. I blew it earlier, I'm not gonna blow it this time. Oh, get out of there. Get out of the prop, get out of the prop. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I gotta stay calm. It's, it's a nice bass, you guys. It's a really nice bass. Oh gosh, stay down. Oh, this is it, guys. This is how we're gonna finish the video. I'm gonna get my redemption. Oh my gosh, what is that? Guys, I don't even know what this is. I thought it was a bass, now I don't know. This is, this is weird, whatever it is. I just wanna get a good look at it before we go. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Uh, it's a bass. It is a bass. It's a bass. Come on. Get up. Get up. It's a big bass. It's a really big bass. Come on. Oh my gosh. She's not making this easy on me. I'm literally sitting on the back of the boat right now. Come on, baby. Get in. Get in the net. Uh, uh, he is so strong, you guys. Got him! Yes! I did it! Yes! <laughs> Late in the day, monster small, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, what a, what a way to end the day, you guys. I know you can hardly see this, but we're gonna hold it up. I don't know where the best place to even hold it is, but... Man, you guys, let me just hold it down this green light so you can see it. I don't know if that would help at all. You guys, look at this beautiful smallmouth. <laughs> Late in the day theatrics, monster smallie. Oh my goodness. Does it, can it end any better than that, guys? I'm gonna give it a quick measure. Let's just see how big the smallmouth really is. Oh yeah. Yeah, guys, if I, if I stretch this fin right there, 20 inches, that's my first trophy of the year. Guys, trophy smallmouth to end the day. <laughs> Let's go. 
All right, you guys, let's go ahead and let him go. It's time for us to go as well. Let me give him a nice send. And he's out of here. And there he goes, guys. Well, it's late in the day. We had some last minute theatrics. What a fun way to go out. Caught a nice monster smallie there after I had lost one earlier in the day. Um, so guys, my heart is so full right now and I had so much fun, I can't even put it into words. Um, guys, if you would like to see more Rogersville episodes, I actually have some from last year. I'll post one right here. Or if you'd like to see more hybrid and striper videos, I've got another one right here. Till next time, tight lines.